ESA astronaut Thomas Pesquet from France is about to begin his second long-duration stay on board the ISS. His mission is named Alpha, after Alpha Centauri, the closest star system to Earth. Since Thomas' first mission, which ended in the summer of 2017, three more ESA astronauts have lived and worked in orbit. His upcoming mission will continue Europe's ongoing habitation of the ISS, but with some radical new developments. ISS has changed a little bit, but not so much. The science experiments, there are some new ones, and also the same ones that I performed last time are still ongoing, because you need more data. Um, so I, I won't be too surprised. Um, but there's also some big differences. One big difference is obviously how to get there. Um, and I flew with the Russian Soyuz from Baikonur, Kazakhstan, the last time. Um, this time I'm going to launch from Florida, which is completely new for us since the space shuttle retired 10 years ago. So um, different training, different vehicle. It's like when you're a pilot and uh, you, you change plane, you change to a completely different plane. You have to relearn everything. Thomas will travel to the ISS with three other astronauts on board the commercial spacecraft SpaceX Crew Dragon. This will be its second operational flight, lifting off from Cape Canaveral on board a Falcon 9 launcher. He'll be the first European to launch from the USA since 2011, when Roberto Vittori from Italy flew on board Space Shuttle Endeavour to deliver ESA's Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer. Despite his previous experience in orbit, Thomas has had to undergo a long and intense training program for the Alpha mission. Preparations for this flight have been particularly challenging as they've coincided with restrictions caused by the global COVID-19 pandemic. We really try to lower the risk. We've, we've reduced our traveling uh, quite a lot. So now everything that we can do remote, just like everybody we do remote, everything that's not mandatory, we cancel. Um, and by doing this, uh, we're in good shape to, to be on time for launch, which is pretty amazing. And I think everybody has done a very impressive job, in spite of the pandemic, uh, still pressing ahead and ticking all the boxes. Once he's back on board the ISS, Thomas will spend much of his time on scientific research. During his last mission, he took part in over 200 experiments, setting a record for the number of hours spent on science in a week. ESA's Columbus Laboratory has been considerably upgraded since his last stay, with faster access to experiments for researchers on Earth. He'll also be carrying out maintenance tasks as part of the station's crew, this time with the benefit of six months' experience in orbit. The second time, it's a bit different. You know exactly what you need to know, what you don't need to know, how to do things, you have an idea. Um, so I think I'm going to enjoy it more because the first time I was always constantly trying to do work and do things and I was never ever idle on board the space station. This time I'm going to try to take some time for myself um, and maybe make some, some, uh, some good memories. Thomas Pesquet's upcoming launch will see him pioneer a new phase in European spaceflight. And as the Alpha mission unfolds, continue ESA's role as an international partner in orbit.